As was my father, I was born with a sword in my hand. I will spend my life in battle with that sword, and I will die fighting or see my enemies dead before me. This has always been the way in my land. That was my father's way, and I honor his memory. Perhaps my son will honor mine. Once the Shogun kept order in Japan, and the Emperor cared for all of us under heaven, there was peace between the daimyo, the great lords that owned the land. But that was a lifetime ago. One day, a daimyo will come to save Japan and bring peace. But will I be the one? Will I see this come to pass? Before I was old enough to carry my own sword, my grandfather told me stories of his childhood. He told me of learning how to use the sword and the bow, the weapons of a true samurai. He told me that my land once knew peace, that Japan was a place where honor mattered, where a man could be a hero and do his duty before his lord and the emperor. All that had changed. War is now our way. I carry my sword, but this is no longer enough. War has changed. Now strength is counted in guns, and any foolish Ashigaru can kill a samurai. And this is honor? I no longer really care, because I desire victory more than honor. My grandfather would not like this new way. But he would still see that samurai have courage, that I have courage, that we still follow the old ways at least that much. My homeland has been a battleground since before my great-grandfather carried his sword into battle. He killed many for his master, and his son, and my father did the same. They were all worthy ancestors. I'm proud to carry the same blade. Like them, I have seen many battles. The wars between the clans make warriors of us all. There can be no rest in these bloody days. The Oda ruled much of Japan under their great lord, Nobunaga. He's a skilled general. He understands the new way of warfare, the new way that uses guns. Perhaps Nobunaga will conquer, and my homeland will know peace. Until victory, I know only total war. With final victory secured, the dominance of our clan could not longer be disputed. Faced with our invincible armies, all Japan was forced to accept the supreme leadership of a single daimyo. The heritage of our clan supported the legitimacy of our noble lord to declare himself Sei Taishogun, and thereby to found a dynasty which would determine the future of Japan and guarantee the immortality of our honor. There were some fools who did not accept the supremacy of the new shogun, but the battles which we fought to crush their insolence did not threaten our survival, as had the great battles of the past, but merely ensured that the skills of our samurai remained honed in the field of war. All the wealth of Japan flowed to the shogun, 
and he used it to raise mighty castles. The greatest of these was the fortress at Edo, which became the hub from which the shogun's power radiated to even the most distant provinces. Former rivals were obliged to march from every corner of Japan to subjugate themselves before the shogun. Every warrior was now under his direct control, and if any thought that the shogunate was repressive, then they were shrewd enough to keep these thoughts to themselves. All aspects of life were guided by the will and wisdom of the shogun. He encouraged the samurai to train in the arts of writing and painting, as well as the way of the warrior, while the emperor himself was freed from the destruction of day-to-day -day power. The order of society rested on strict enforcement of the social hierarchy. The peasants were reminded of their obligations at the point of a sword and were soon convinced to settle into their jobs of growing, making, carrying, breeding, and paying taxes for the shogun. Once again, Japan became a land for the Japanese, and there was no longer any need for the foreigners' strange superstitions or their coward weapons, and they were not missed when the bamboo curtain descended. Under this firm hand, Japan was never again torn apart by ambitious and grasping rivals as it had been during the Sengoku Jidai. United, the nation thrived, and the sons of the shogun continued to rule by obeying the traditions set down by our forefathers for hundreds of years. Courage, his shrewdness, and his skill in battle are legendary.